basically the government is not on a strong ideological footing. They're trying to find their way. They're trying to find out who they are as a government, you know. And everything that they have planned and that they've agreed on, whether it's Vision 2030 or this, it's all patched on. Right. You have to understand that you can't be open for business without also being an open society. that time dear 25 26 around that age i was taking my master's degree in england back then hmm is it this the marvel arts mama yes my dear how did you learn about it i read a book about it mama i even found out that the part that are this lot of time is not that place where you can get that what's the name of that place again hi Oh, it's Hyde Park. Do you want to hear about my experience there? Yes, Mama. I would love to. Okay. Let's put this album back in the cabinet first. It was the summer of 1997. I was headed to London on a coach from Cambridge. I remember feeling uneasy back then because of the driver. His shaven head, the tattoos all over his arms, and his cackney accent. Why, Mama? Was he bad? No, son. His look just reminded me of what skinheads did to black people in Europe before. Have you heard the news about the match? I heard the boys suffered a 2 0 defeat by the boots, did they? <laughs> they sure did. But you know what, son? I was taken aback with how he addressed me. Here you go, darling. Thank you, mister. See, mama, that is why you shouldn't judge a book by its cover. <laughs> yes, dear. I know. Shall we proceed now? I have always imagined what it would be like in London. The Pudding Lane, the Westminster Abbey, the Old Bailey, the Serpentine, and other places I've seen from books and television. Were you able to see those places, Mama? Yes, dear. Mama did. Here we are at Marble Arch. Built in the 19th century, it was originally located in front of the Buckingham Palace. Please ready your stuff and do not leave anything behind, including trash, as we'll now hop off the bus and walk inside the park. Oh, the agenda photograph. We buy to walk through it. Mm hmm. We did. I want to walk through the entrance too. Mama, can we please go there someday? When Mama finds enough time, Kush, we will. Okay, I'll briefly wait. Whoa, we're there not even in the crowd, Mama. No, Kush, because that's what they believe in. To worship their only creator through chants. They believe that chanting the name of their god is just as powerful as someone's own prayer. Also, they believe that their god is a physical form rather than being omnipresent. Oh, okay, continue please. And then, 
I found myself where there are different kinds of people. The Speaker's Corner The first one, a Christian evangelist preaching hell and brimstone. Though he didn't seem to be convinced of what he prophesied. What is that, Mama? Well, he was addressing it in such soft tones. He was different from the usual preachers out there. Here's a subject that doesn't get preached on very often these days. Hell, that's right. That eternal place of damnation, where you will go if you are not right with God whenever you perish. Don't you think that's boring, Mama? For someone who's soft-spoken, yet charismatic, I don't think so, dear. Yeah, I might listen to him too. Madness, madness. The European man was the evil disaster in a country. And that is the biggest joke of history. The nation united its people united. At a time when another is falling apart and its people are embarking on a bloody war with each other. When the Berlin Wall fell, we all knew that it was the fall of socialism on a global scale. It seemed that the collapse was unstoppable and it was only a matter of time before it would hit all of the so-called socialist countries. But people, let me remind you that it is a mistake to think that when you win a fight, it's a one forever. What did you mean by that, Mama? Some ideologies of people can be changed, dear. Especially if they see it as something that can make not only their world better, but also ours. So, people have different beliefs? Yes, Kush. Just like the Hare Krishna followers? Mm hmm Oh, that's cool. Okay, Mama. The sad thing is, almost every company today in this world does not care about lives and people anymore. They just want money. It really takes out the hope for humanity, sadly. Indeed, it is the way that companies promoted the formula so much that most of the mothers got hooked by it. However, this does not change the fact that it brought horrible effects in Africa, South America, and South Asian countries. Lost lives linked to infant formula. And you could only think of that one. Certain can you bargain sell? Well... Mama! That's why I felt terribly guilty that time. So that's what happens when people are blinded by money. Uh-huh. And I pray that you won't be like them, dear. Of course, Mama. And you too. Where did you go next, Mama? Well, I went to Rose Garden to have my lunch. It was fascinating. There were roses all over. Even other kinds of flowers were present. It was colorful. Wow! That's entrancing! Indeed. After that, I went to Rotten Row. Oh! I read about that! That is where the upper class locals got their houses during the 18th century until the 19th, right? Yes, dear. Did you visit the park again after the first one, Mama? I did. Many times. And I got to visit the places I missed on that day. Including the Holocaust Memorial. For those who pass on that faithful event? Mm-hmm. So, what did you love the most about the park, Mama? I say, it's Speaker's Corner. It shows a lot how the British people embrace eccentricity, how accepting they are to people's different beliefs. Wow! That's empowering! I like that part of the story too, Mama! Also the Garden of Roses! Did you not like Rotten Row? You seemed interested about it earlier. It's just a wide don't rock. Mama, I like the first two I created. Hmm. I want something colorful and lively. What about you, Mama? Do you like the rotten row? Mm-hmm. Because it reminded me of Harare. The whole park. Actually, it reminded me of home. 
of Zimbabwe. Mama, do you think that Harare will be the same as my car or, or Zimbabwe? Like London? I am hoping as well, Kush. I was wondering that it would be a good thing for Harare, for Zimbabwe, to model after London. So, you do believe it would happen, Mama? I do believe it could, my dear, someday.